Hi folks, I'm Voba. I'm a singer and a vocal trainer, and this is my channel about anatomical vocal training. This is a little addition to phase number two of stretching the swallowing muscle. Now, I said that I want you to really relax into it, right? I don't want you to be crampy. This will really help the isolation, you know, making it uh, some kind of meditation where your mind is really calm and you can really focus on feeling what's going on and just using the, 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 the right muscles, just the right muscles and nothing more than you actually need. Because in order to isolate muscle groups, you need focus, you know, in order to learn how to feel what to do, in order to just put the sternum up and just put the thyroid down without, you know, involving all the muscles in your neck, <laughs> but just the few muscles that you actually need. And when the sternum is up, really, really just the sternothyroid muscle and nothing else but that one. That is like a meditation. You need to have a really calm focus with that. And you need to have that focus in order not to use other muscles, like, for instance, the sternohyoid muscle. There is a muscle originating from the sternum going to the hyoid bone, which can also help to pull the, the larynx down. But the problem is, it doesn't just pull the thyroid down, it also pulls the hyoid bone down. Now what happens in the, in the throat when you pull the hyoid bone down as well is that it kind of like pushes on top of the thyroid cartilage and it pushes the thyroid cartilage down. But that's not going to be very helpful because once you put the tongue out, your hyoid bone is going to go up. And then if it's only the sternohyoid muscle that pulls everything down, your thyroid is going to go up with it. That's why it's so important to have this meditational focus where you can really feel, oh yeah, I'm really doing it with the, with the muscle that is really like inside here, you know, with the sternothyroid muscle, not with the sternohyoid muscle. And uh, that needs some practice, you know, it's just, it's a new thing to actually know these muscles and to actually think about which muscle to contract and which muscle not to contract. And contracting the sternothyroid muscle feels like I'm doing nothing. You know, it feels like I'm just yawning a bit. It's so easy. If I wouldn't have my finger there, that's why I always put my finger there. I wouldn't even know unless I hear the sound that my thyroid is down. You know, it doesn't feel, it's not like it's this big feeling, oh yeah, my thyroid is down. No, it's more like the sound I, I know when my thyroid is down and the finger. For these exercises, I always use my finger. I just put it gently uh, on top of my yugulum, inside my yugulum, I should rather say. And I'm doing this slight movement with my thyroid up and down against my tongue because movement helps you feel your body, right? If, for instance, if you try to feel your big toe right now and then you sense into it, but then if you move it, you will feel it more clearly. Same thing here. If you move the thyroid up and down just slightly like this, you will have a more easy time feeling it. And of course, it's gonna be strengthening, strengthening the, the thyroid, but also movement is life, you know? If your heart would stop moving, you would stop living. <laughs> and uh, since movement is so helpful for the body in order to train the body, it's also helpful in order to feel the body. So this movement, these little movements, will really help you to feel your body, feel what's going on. That's why I'm not about stiffness and just holding it, but about actually moving it to, to find the relaxed manner of the movement because you don't need a lot of strength you know first of all for the sternum you might need to build up a lot of strength but then once you build that up for the yawning muscle you don't need a lot of strength you just need focus meditational clear focus you know that is in a very relaxed manner that's what's going to really bring you somewhere with your voice so make sure you do not just contract any muscle in the throat and use, for instance, the sternohyoid muscle to pull the thyroid down, 
but make sure you really learn how to isolate and just use the sternothyroid muscles so that the higher bone can go up when the tongue comes out and the thyroid cartilage can stay down and you stretch your swallowing muscle. Have fun with it. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe if you want to hear my beautiful voice more often and like the video if you like the content. Hello. Um, Bye.